The Pittsburgh Steelers have made significant headlines with their recent signing of veteran outside linebacker Marcus Hayes. The excitement doesn't stop there. As the team gears up for the new season, all eyes are on head coach Mike Tomlin's decisions, particularly the looming quarterback controversy. Is Russell Wilson still the clear-cut starter, or has Justin Fields done enough to challenge him? With preseason winding down and regular season battles on the horizon, these moves could define the Steelers' trajectory, the 2024 season. Dive deep into the narrative of these unfolding events, where every decision carries the weight of the Steelers' storied legacy. Will Marcus Hayes be more than just a depth addition? Can Justin Fields dethrone Russell Wilson? Stick around as we unravel the details and implications. But before we delve further, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's get started. The signing of Marcus Hayes has sent ripples through Steelers Nation. But what does this addition truly mean for Pittsburgh? At 26 years old, Hayes brings with him a mix of potential and uncertainty. A product of Old Dominion, Hayes' journey in the NFL has been anything but smooth. From his days as an undrafted free agent with the Denver Broncos, to his brief stints with various teams, including the Houston Texans and Cleveland Browns, Hayes has struggled to find a permanent home in the league. His stats tell a story of a player who has yet to fully showcase his abilities on the big stage. In the preseason games with the Broncos, he flashed moments of promise with five tackles, one pass defense, and a quarterback hit. Yet despite his 6'4 frame and athletic prowess, Hayes has been more of a journeyman than a staple in any defensive lineup. His fluctuating NFL career has been a roller coaster, with each team offering a glimmer of hope, only for it to be dashed shortly after. For the Steelers, Hayes' signing appears to be a strategic move, an insurance policy for their defense. With the injuries to key players like TJ Watt and Alex Highsmith, Hayes provides a necessary body for the preseason grind. However, whether he can cement his place on the roster or merely serve as a temporary solution remains the question. For Hayes, this is more than just another team. It's a crucial opportunity to prove he belongs in the NFL. As the Steelers' preseason progresses, the quarterback position remains a hot topic of discussion. Mike Tomlin's latest comments have done little to quell the speculation surrounding the starting quarterback role. On paper, Russell Wilson is the established veteran, a Super Bowl champion with a resume that speaks for itself. But the offseason has not been kind to Wilson, with injuries and inconsistent performances casting doubt on his ability to lead the Steelers effectively. Justin Fields, on the other hand, has been waiting in the wings, showing flashes of brilliance and a hunger to take the reins. Fields' offseason performance has outshined Wilson's, leaving many to wonder if the young quarterback is ready to take over. However, Tomlin's remarks suggest that the job is still Wilson's to lose. The phrase, pull position, has become synonymous with Wilson's grasp on the starting job, indicating that despite Fields' efforts, the veteran remains the frontrunner. But what if Tomlin is playing his cards close to the vest? Could this be a ploy to motivate Wilson, or perhaps a way to keep Fields on his toes? The dynamic between these two quarterbacks is not just a battle for the starting job. It's a glimpse into the future of the Steelers' offense. The decision Tomlin makes will have far-reaching implications, not just for the upcoming season, but for the franchise's direction in the years to come. While many fans are quick to judge Hayes based on his tumultuous NFL journey, a closer look at his college career reveals a player with untapped potential. Hayes began his collegiate career at Fork Union Military Academy before making a name for himself at Old Dominion. His early years were marked by hard work and resilience, traits that would serve him well as he transitioned to the NFL. In his final college season, Hayes finally stepped into the spotlight. As a redshirt senior, he recorded 47 tackles, 7.5 tackles for loss, 4 sacks, and a forced fumble across 12 games. These numbers reflect a player who was just beginning to hit his stride. Hayes' pre-draft testing further highlighted his athleticism, with a 34.5-inch vertical jump and a 4.83-second 40-yard dash, proving that he had the physical tools to compete at the next level. 
However, transitioning from college star to NFL mainstay is a challenge that has tripped up many players before him. For Hayes, the key will be consistency, showing the Steelers coaching staff that he can replicate his college success on the professional stage. Whether he's a camp body or a hidden gem waiting to be polished, only time will tell. The Steelers' defense has long been the backbone of the team, but recent injuries have tested its depth. TJ, Watt, and Alex Highsmith both sidelined. The need for reinforcements became apparent. Enter Marcus Hayes. But is his signing a sign of desperation, or does it reflect a calculated strategy to bolster the linebacker? Hayes's arrival provides the Steelers with another option, but it also highlights the precarious position the team finds itself in. The defensive line has been a strength for Pittsburgh, but without Watt and Highsmith, the pressure mounts on players like Nick Herbig and Hayes to step up. The preseason games will serve as a proving ground, not just for Hayes, but for the entire defensive unit. The decision to sign Hayes also raises questions about the Steelers' long-term planning. Are they merely patching up holes, or is there a deeper strategy at play? With the regular season fast approaching, the Steelers' coaching staff must assess whether Hayes and others can contribute meaningfully or if further moves are needed to ensure the defense remains a formidable force. Mike Tomlin has never shied away from tough decisions, but the quarterback situation in Pittsburgh is perhaps one of the most challenging of his career. Russell Wilson's pedigree as a proven winner is undeniable, but his recent struggles cannot be ignored. Injuries have hampered his ability to lead the offense, and his performances in the preseason have been less than stellar. Justin Fields, by contrast, has shown the kind of spark that fans have been clamoring for. His ability to extend plays and his potential as a dual-threat quarterback offer the Steelers a glimpse into what could be a dynamic future. Yet, despite Fields' impressive showing, Tomlin remains committed to Wilson, citing his experience and leadership as irreplaceable assets. This loyalty to Wilson, however, could come at a cost. If Wilson continues to underperform, Tomlin may be forced to make a difficult decision, one that could define his legacy as the Steelers' head coach. The stakes are high, and the outcome of this quarterback battle will be a storyline to watch as the season unfolds. Injuries are an unfortunate reality in the NFL, and the Steelers are no strangers to the pain they bring. This preseason has seen its fair share of key players sidelined, including Peyton Wilson, Jalen Warren, and Roman Wilson. Each of these injuries carries with it implications for the Steelers, depth, and their ability to compete at the highest level. Peyton Wilson's concussion in the previous game was a scare, but his recent declaration that he's 100% cleared and ready to play is a relief for the Steelers' coaching staff. Wilson's presence on the field is crucial, especially given the thinness of the inside linebacker position. His return will bolster a defense that can ill afford any more setbacks. Jalen Warren's hamstring injury is another concern. Hamstrings are notoriously tricky, and while Warren has returned to practice, there's no guarantee he'll be ready for week one. The Steelers' running game, already under scrutiny, could suffer if Warren is not at full strength. Roman Wilson's ankle injury, meanwhile, adds another layer of uncertainty. Reports suggest he might miss the start of the season, a blow that could leave the Steelers scrambling for solutions. For players like Marcus Hayes, the preseason represents more than just a series of warm-up games. It's an audition for their NFL careers. The final preseason game is particularly crucial for those on the fringe of the roster, as it offers one last chance to make an impression on the coaching staff. Hayes' journey to the Steelers has been marked by stops and starts, but the preseason provides him with an opportunity to show that he can be more than just a backup. By putting together a strong performance, he could earn a spot on the practice squad or even make the 53-man roster. The stakes are high, and every snap counts. Hayes is not alone. Other players on the bubble will be fighting for their NFL futures as well. The intensity of these preseason games cannot be overstated, as they often determine who stays and who goes. For the Steelers, it's a chance to evaluate talent and make decisions that will shape the team's composition for the regular season. As the preseason winds down, the focus shifts to the regular season. The Steelers face a challenging schedule, 
with matchups against formidable opponents like the Baltimore Ravens, Kansas City Chiefs, and Cincinnati Bengals. To navigate this gauntlet, the Steelers will need to be firing on all cylinders, offense, defense, and special team. Marcus Hayes' role in this journey is still uncertain. While he may not be a star player, his presence on the team could provide the depth needed to weather the inevitable challenges of a long NFL season. His story is one of perseverance and resilience, qualities that align with the Steelers' ethos. But beyond individual contributions, the Steelers must come together as a cohesive unit. The quarterback situation remains unresolved, the defense is dealing with injuries, and the offensive line continues to be a work in progress. These are all issues that will need to be addressed if the Steelers are to make a deep playoff run. Steelers Nation is known for its passion and loyalty, but with that comes high expectations. Every move, every play, and every decision is scrutinized by a fan base that demands excellence. For players like Marcus Hayes, this can be both motivating and daunting. Pressure to perform is immense and the margin for error is slim. Fanbase's expectations extend beyond individual players to the team as a whole. The Steelers' storied history is a double-edged sword. While it provides a rich legacy to draw from, it also sets a standard that every team is measured against. The 2024 season will be no different, and the Steelers will need to rise to the occasion to meet those expectations. The role of the fans cannot be underestimated. Heinz Field, or Akersher Stadium as it's now known, has long been one of the most intimidating venues for opposing teams. The energy of the crowd can lift the Steelers to victory, but it can also turn quickly if the team falters. For Hayes and others, understanding and embracing this dynamic is crucial to their success in Pittsburgh. As the Steelers prepare for the regular season, the path to glory is filled with challenges. Quarterback situation remains fluid, the defense is grappling with injuries, and the new additions like Marcus Hayes must prove their worth. But despite these obstacles, the Steelers have the potential to emerge as contenders. The journey ahead will require grit, determination, and a bit of luck. The decisions made in the coming weeks will shape the Steelers' fate. And the storylines we've explored, Marcus Hayes' quest for relevance, quarterback battle, and the impact of injuries, will play out on the grand stage of the NFL season. But one thing is certain, the Steelers' legacy is built on overcoming adversity. Whether it's a veteran fighting for one last chance or a young quarterback striving to make his mark, 2024 season promises to be a defining chapter in the Steelers' storied history. As we close this analysis, remember to subscribe, like, and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay tuned for more in-depth coverage as we follow the Steelers' journey through the highs and lows of the NFL season.